Hey there guys, got a couple of uh, new base layers here or um, running gear basically. As you can see these are, these have the um, OR or outdoor research reflective symbol or logo. This is the hoodie in Baltic blue I believe is the color. And this is the half zip, which I like a lot. And this also has a reflective logo on the back. So, wanted to get a couple more of those Capoline lightweight base layers, which I love so much from Patagonia. And um, problem is, none of them are on sale. Um, and I didn't want to pay full price so I found these on Amazon and also REI this one here is uh, dusk sort of like a cadet blue this is a large and it's pretty generous I'll be fitting these a little later 4.2 ounces in a size large and it's cut more loose than the Patagonia Capoline lightweight and here is the hooded version, which actually has a pocket and some strings around the hood to tighten it, which I'm not a big fan of. Let me just get that out of the way, sorry. So this one here weighs in at five ounces for a size large. So that's pretty phenomenal. Um, have this one I just got in the mail as you can see there just from the packaging and this I've had for the whole week and been loving it so far I like the fit of the Capoline lightweight better uh, but this thing only cost me $32 and you can get different colors some of them are down to like 20 24 bucks and it retails for $60 for this one, which is the half. So as I was saying, the uh, half zip retails for about $60. And uh, this one I picked up on Amazon for about $32. Um, and that's free shipping with Prime. Uh, I just tried this on, actually. Uh, when we got cut off, I, got, I received a uh, phone call doing this video on my phone. So this one actually is a little bit more snug, has better articulation on the arms. Now that would be my critique with uh, OR on this, is that there's no uniformity with the sizing, uh, unlike the Capoline Lightweight, where you basically have the same fit with the crew neck, the half zip, there is no hooded version for the Capoline Lightweight, and I wish they would make that. Um, here's the zippered pocket on the right side on the back with the reflective logo. Um, I would have preferred if this pocket was actually on the uh, the chest, you know, uh, make it into a chest pocket or possibly just make it smaller. Uh, the reviews have been that this is, if you put your keys back here, it's just flopping around a little too much, it weighs down the, the shirt too much. Uh, so maybe just have the pocket smaller and have it oriented vertically uh, on the chest side and just to allow for your ID um, and maybe just one house key or a car key. Uh, that way you can leave the rest of your keys in your car when you run and just have your car key in there. Um, you can put in like a little waterproof baggie like a Ziploc so your sweat doesn't damage the electronics on your keys. I don't know. Uh, some of them can be damaged by that. But this is this is a pretty generous pocket. Um, you can definitely fit your keys in there. Here are my everyday carry keys here with uh, my Leatherman. They fit in there. I was able to fit my wallet earlier. Um, so, 
just for the sake of demonstration not that I would advocate leaving a wallet in there so it fits an entire wallet with some space so I think this pocket is just a little bit too big uh, for what you should be putting there seeing as this shirt is too thin all right so uh, I'm gonna pause here and then I'll fit these on uh, later in the video here guys just wanted to uh, show you guys uh, how these garments fit um, so we've got the outdoor research hoodie uh, the uh, echo hoodie and the outdoor research long sleeve zip and as you can see you've got a very nice reflective right there on the front and the back of the shirt same goes for the hoodie got it on the front right there and actually on the lower back of the shirt so I'm gonna put these on and uh, show you how they fit So right now I've got on the uh, Echo hoodie, and this is a size large. I'm five foot eight. Right now I'm currently 197 pounds or so, so just around 200 pounds. Uh, I'll give you a little 360. And it's pretty nice with the thumb loops. So. Pretty similar to um, the thumb loops you find on a lot of running um, running base layers. What I really do love about this versus the capoline is that when you don't put it through, it kind of just disappears and you don't notice it at all. Uh, I, I still love having the thumb loops, but sometimes those thumb loops kind of come out over here and uh, I'll probably include that comparison at the end of the video. And uh, not a big fan of this part of here, this here, because we've got a lot of better options now. You could do um, a zip probably. If uh, I was part of the design team or if I had any input, it would be nice if they had a quarter zip or half zip and just have an elasticated hood which would be so much better also raise this up to the chin so you could protect your neck uh, at this point if it's windy it doesn't really protect your neck that much i guess you could cinch it all the way up but now you have a very long string that kind of flaps around in the wind and uh one of the things I wish they would improve on is that currently, no, it's on the right side, is that the zipper is right here on the lower back. And I guess some of you runners there would comment, you could kind of uh, school me on why it's better here. Uh, but being a backpacker and um, doing a little climbing here and there, I would have preferred if the, um, the zipper was on the front chest, like a front chest pocket instead. And my problem with having it down here uh, is that when you have your hip belt on your backpack, it kind of presses against your lower back or your hip. And there's the zipper is right against my hip at this point. Um, but yeah, I really do like it. The one thing you'll see though is when I put on the regular zip in the same size, which is large, they're not actually the same exact size. So the sizing is a little bit off with uh, the Echo line. So I'm going to put that on. Uh, all right, so here is the uh, Echo LS zip. And it's nice and deep on the, the zipper. So I wish they could incorporate a zipper with the hoodie. It may increase the weight a little bit, but I'd gladly have that weight penalty for a much better system than that uh, cinch cord or cinch, whatever you want to call that. Uh, which they have on those classic cotton hoodies. I'll do a little 360. So it's nice and roomy around the torso, but not too baggy. Um, and 
fits well around the shoulders. So as you can see though, it's a little bit more loose on the arms than the hoodie. So this fits more loose than that one, um, which is a little weird because if you were ordering and you were used to that type of uh, fit and you ordered this garment, you would get a much baggier uh, fitting garment. And uh, it is very nice. The collar comes up high, covers your neck uh, when it's windy. And these are pretty warm and the odor control is pretty good. And I've been using these from the beginning of uh, fall. And I've used these down to about 55 degrees over a shirt like this one. And uh, just to show you guys how it fits over the shirt. So this is uh, a product I'll be reviewing soon. This is a Uniqlo Airism shirt. So if you had a fairly fitted shirt, these would fit well on top of that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys just uh, sort of a comparison in terms of fit with the hooded version, the Echo long sleeve, and I'll be showing you the Capoline and also the Arcteryx um, Phase SL zip. Capoline lightweight long sleeve zip tee. So you can see the arms are a little bit more snug and tapered versus the Echo LS zip. And they're about the same on the collar. Phase SL zip. And this is a much more snug fit. In terms of feel, I would have to say that this has the best material. But it's definitely very form-fitting and is the one that probably blends in the least with everyday wear. So and here is the comparison on the thumb loops. So I have the Patagonia Capoline uh, Lightweight on my right side. And here is the Echo Hoodie. Um, this also comes up higher onto your knuckles and feels almost like a fingerless glove. And once you do put it away, it seamlessly blends in. While sometimes this thumb loop will stick out and you have to keep putting it back under. So just a few things that I find to be a great design. I do wish that the LS long sleeve zip from Echo, uh, I mean the Echo long sleeve zip from Outdoor Research would have thumb loops, but they didn't put that feature onto that garment. So a couple of things to think about. Uh, I will be reviewing the Arcteryx Phase SL as well. So stay tuned for that.